Hi, everyone, everyone. Uh, so this is the revision video series which we are conducting through the Wisdom Education Unit. And uh, today we are going to discuss uh, briefly, a little briefly on the seventh lesson of your syllabus, uh, which is the first lesson of the second term, first one of your second term, right? Uh, so I'm going to explain a little briefly. I'm going to explain uh, the things in this lesson and uh, along this is a video mm, you will get the relevant not as well as a pdf you will get the not as well right so make sure when you are watching this video uh, make sure to keep that with uh, with you video so in that way it will be easier for both of us uh, to make this lesson a success, right? I have to make one of the characters. I have to make one of the characters. I have to make one of the I will explain it to you. Uh, and now you have not the not with you, right? Okay, now we will get back to the lesson, right? Uh, so the seventh lesson is about football. Let us play football. So from uh, since grade six, hmm, we have been learning uh, three major games continuously. We have been learning three major games: volleyball, netball, and football. Hmm, and we have to learn those three major games uh, till grade eleven. Grade eleven, So during these previous grades, uh, grades uh, we learned different. Uh, skills which we need to play football right different skills which we need to play football like kicking the ball hitting the ball stopping the ball right likewise we learn different kinds of uh, skills which uh, which are related to the football game right in this lesson we are going to uh, discuss and learn another two important skills in this game in football Right, one is throw in, throw in. You can <coughs> you can see it in your not throw in and goalkeeping. Right, throw in and goalkeeping. Right, goalkeeping. You may know already what is what do you mean by goalkeeping and throw in. I will explain it. Some people may know, but I'm going to explain each and everything uh, through this video series. Right. Okay. Now we'll see. Uh, some major facts, some common facts about the game football, right? So, uh, as you already know, this is the most popular game in the world. Football is the most popular game. Right? And for a football team, right? And for a football team, it includes 11 players altogether, right? 11 players all together it will include right 11 players and out of these 11 players one player will be appointed as the goalkeeper one goalkeeper right goalkeeper one goalkeeper right so all together there are 11 players in the field uh, for a team to play the game to play this game Right, and the time period of this game, hmm? time period. This game is being played uh, within a time period of 90 minutes, of 90 minutes, total of 90 minutes, right? But it is divided into two parts, right? It is divided into two parts, into 45 minutes part, right? This is the first half. First half is 45 minutes, right? Then there will be an interval. Uh, the maximum time of that interval should be uh, will be 15 minutes. Right? It is the max. Maximum. Right? Maximum of 15 minutes. For an interval. Right? For an interval. Interval is the interval. Then again, there's another half. The second half, again, it will be 45 minutes the second half this is the first half we call that the first half and this is the second half 
right? So altogether it will be forty-five point five ninety minutes altogether. Game, game, right? The time period of the game, the single game, right? Okay. So those are the uh, common things uh, which we need to know through this uh, lesson, and we'll now move on to the throwing part. Another very important skill in uh, football, throwing, right? You can see it in your note as well. Throw in. Throw in. Yeah. Now, what is throw in? What do you mean by a throw? Yes. Hmm? The hand. You can throw throw something, right? But football is play. Uh, football in football, we play and we handle the ball with our feet. Kapulen tamen ye mege di. So this is a way, right? This is a method which we use to restart the game, right? Restart the game. If the ball leaves the ground through its sides line, through its side lines. There are another side lines. Okay, I will draw a sketch of the football court. A very rough sketch, right? Don't mind my uh, drawing skills. My drawing skills are a little off, right? Sometimes in the bed, right? Now consider this as the football court, right? And there are two goals, goal posts in either side, you know that already, right? There are two goal posts in each side. Then these lines, this line and this line, right? We call these two lines in the football court as goal lines. Goal lines, right? And these two sides. We call these two sides as side lines. Athirena. Right? Lines, right? These two lines are side lines. Now, in this throw in skill, we are talking about these two side lines. When you make a in the map, Throw in. <coughs> so, throw in a bit, katakara, right? Side lines, right? I will erase these things. Side lines. Just remember the names of these sides. Right? Now, what will happen? During the game, hmm? during the game, the ball is moving here and there. Hmm? All the players are handling the ball and passing it to each other, and they are trying to make a ball, right? They are trying to hit the ball with the uh, through the goal. Balling, balling up the floor, they are coming in. They come and try to run, right? So during this game, right? During this game, point of this time, if the ball leaves the ground, ball leaves the ground, they can pass to a ground taking area, right? Pass to a ground taking area. From where? From these two sides line, side lines, right? Hmm? Across these side lines. If the ball leaves the ground from these side lines, not from here or here, anywhere else, right? Only from side lines. Something different will happen if the ball leaves the ground from these goal lines, right? That is another case, right? In here, what is important is if the ball leaves the ground from this across these side lines. Either side, right? Either side. What will happen now? If the ball is out of the court, ball is out of the court, the game will stop. Hmm? The ball is not in play. We call that. We call in such a such an instant. We call it ball is not in play. If the ball is not in the ground, it is outside the ground. If it is outside the ground, the ball. We call that. Ball is out of play, right? Which means the game has stopped. Hmm? Game is not on, right? Game make an game make an error. So in order to uh, restart the game, right? In order to restart the game, uh, we use this throwing method, right? We use this throwing method in order to restart the restart the game in such a such an instant. Right? Now consider there are two teams. 
this image B, this image A D, right? This is A D and this is B D. And before the ball pass through this side line, right? The last person who touched the ball, right? We consider the last person who touched the ball before it passed the sideline. Sideline in the pass from the calling. Until the ball will touch the ball, that player is from team B. A team B player touched the ball just before passing it through the sideline. Right? Ball is down the calling. Ultimate touch for the team B. Then what will happen? Hmm? Then a member of a player from team A, a member of team A will get a chance, will get the chance to throw the ball in. Hmm? To, to throw the ball into the ground. Right? A player from team A will get the chance to throw the ball into the ground, being outside of that line. Right? Being outside of that line. Right? Being outside of that Now we see this is where the ball cross the side line. Side line cross the side line. Right? Side line cross the side line. Right? So, the, the player from uh, a player from uh, team A should stand Outside this line here, we put A instead of across. Hmm? Should stand outside of the court near the place where the ball crossed the line. Ball crossed the line. Then, Asan ne line making Delhi on ne ek ina put Delhi ina right. Ek ina put Delhi ina sorry. A team make a player in a team. Hmm? A team make a player in a team right. So now, in order to restart the game, this player, the player from team A, right? This player can hold the ball with his own two hands. He can throw it into the ground over his head, right? Over his head. Can you? at the hearing. Uh, from both the hands, and he can throw it. Into the ground, he can throw the ball into the ground over him, over his head. Among it, he said that he had a little bit of a ground into the ground, right? Ground that is what we call the throwing, right? That is what we call a throwing. Throwing a kill again on the ball. And there are some rules and regulations related to this uh, throwing part, right? I will explain the rules and regulations and things to be considered uh, when we are doing a throwing, right? So, as I explained already, you know that if the if, if the last person who touched the ball before it crosses the uh, side line is from team B, the opponent team member of our, member of the opponent team will get the chance. Member of the opponent team will get the chance. I was explaining a throw it, right? If the last person who touched the ball, who touched the ball, uh, is from team B, right? A player from team A will get the chance to do the throwing, right? To do the throwing, a member of a uh, player from team A will get the chance to do the throwing, right? So there are some, uh, as I said earlier, there are some uh, rules and regulations related to this. Uh, throwing so uh, the line right the player who's making the throwing cannot step on the line when, uh, before throwing before throwing he cannot step on it right can it throw in a the under cutting step around the enemy aditya and the hair a sideline negative yeah in a sideline negative aditya and the hair and other uh Right? And the other thing is uh, both feet of this player, right? Both feet of this player 
should be in contact with the ground when the throwing is being done. Right? When the throwing is being done, both feet of the spray should be in contact with the ground. Can it follow up the Sparsavati in a couple decum? Dana Villa. Right? Dana Villa, a couple decum is Sparsavilla. The end of the one end, the ball should be held with both the hands and should throw, should throw it over his own head. Take a root in the maker. And this tray should face the ground. Hmm? He can't stand here like facing this way or this way. He should face the ground. Right? Yeah. Ground the cat at the balag in the ball. So when the throwing throw in happens, what about the opponents? Hmm? When the throwing happens, what about the opponents? Right? Opponents should be. Uh, if you draw a circle by taking this point as the uh, center, right? By taking this point as the center, if you draw a circle uh, with a radius of uh, two meters, with a radius of two meters, like this, if you draw a circle uh, with a radius of radius means uh, this two meters, right? With a radius of two meters, if you draw a circle taking this point as the Center, what will happen? What will happen actually? The opponents, right? <coughs> opponents should away from this curve. Opponents can be here, can be here, can be here, right? They can be anywhere within the board, but not within this circle. A circle like a the opponents that are in the back. Okay, all opponents, all the opponents should stay. Away two meters from the place of throwing, right? A throwing from the place of the meter. They got behind the mess zero opponents, right? right? Only the opponents. This is applicable only for opponents, right? The same yeah. players from uh, team A can be inside this circle as well, no problem. But for the opponents, they cannot be within the circle. You to make circle like today in the base circle like Elia the mind in the Right, and the other thing is by this throwing, right? By throwing the ball in, they cannot score a goal for uh, directly. Mm -hmm. They cannot score a goal directly, which means we cannot throw the ball directly into the goal post and make a uh, obtain a mark or a point, right? Kilima bole ma madde inara goal post ke dega hala lakhon abdanda bhai. Ma directly goal ka score karan bhai me throw in ne bhai, right? Uh, and uh, after throwing the ball, after throwing the ball, the person who is making the throwing cannot touch the ball, right? Cannot touch the ball until another player touches the ball, right? Until another player touches the ball, this player cannot touch the ball again after throwing. Can it? They are throwing karate. See, how can it come to touch karana kam? They are never the way come to touch karanda. Ekiyavak, ne. Right? After throwing, after throwing, uh, this player can enter into the ground, no problem, but he cannot touch the ball until another player touches the ball. Right? How can it come to Allah? Nakam, yeah, the never the come to Allah. Ekiyavak, ne. Right? Uh, both hands, they should touch the both hands, right? So those are the things I think uh, mainly we should consider when doing a throwing. Throwing a throwing, but at the same time, when a throwing is done, we should do it. Maman, Samhan, right? So there are some activities which we uh, need to know, hmm? which we can use to practice this throwing skill, right? If you want to practice this throwing skill. There are some simple activities which we can conduct, right? Which we can do. Simple, very simple activities. We'll see what are those activities, right? First activity. Uh, so I said already, we should, when in a drawing, we should hold, our, hold the ball uh, with both the hands and we should throw it over the head. We should throw it over the head. So in the same way as an activity also, as an activity, we can do the same thing. We can take a ball and with both the hands, we could throw it over the head to a 
considerable distance. So, do not get a salmon and do not get a bit of a whole error, all over technically throw color, right? And we should hold the ball in the correct way, right? We should be holding the ball in the correct method, right? In both the hands, right? That's one activity we can do, right? And uh, we can get another friend uh, to join us then, right? We can get another friend to join us and now there are two people to uh, do the activity. Uh, between these two people, right? We can pass the ball with each other. We can pass the ball with each other by throwing it over the head like this, right? Then after the exchange karaganda, Uluwang over the head, they can pass the ball between each other. Right? So that will be another activity. Right? And um, right? Okay. Now I will uh, tell you another activity. Uh, what is uh, Right, okay. Now we can get into a two groups. If we have more than two friends, if we have more than two friends, we can get into two groups. Like uh, we'll consider we say uh, there are now uh, uh, 10 friends. Hmm? 10 friends we have to do this activity. Now we can get into two groups as five per each. And now when we get a bit we can get into two groups, right? Like this. I'm drawing only uh, three members per team, right? Now there are two groups. Hmm? We can stand in two lines as two groups with a uh, distance about, uh, we can say, uh, five meters will be now, right? Five meters. Five meters distance, we can stand apart as two groups of two lines, right? Then, starting from the front members, Starting from the front members, we can start throwing the ball with each group, right? With each other, we can throw the ball, right? This person can throw the ball over his head to the front player of the other team, right? Then he can move to the back of his own line. He can move back to back to the back of his own line, right? Then this person can, uh, this player can throw it again. Throw it back to the second player of the other team. Second player of the other team, uh, then he also should go back to the line. Right? He should go back to his own line. Then this person can, this player can throw it to the second player of the opposing team. Then again to the back, then he will throw it again. Likewise, we can do this until everybody gets a chance. Right? Right? So, now we have discussed three activities to practice this throwing skill. We throwing skill like a practice. Uh, activities on a tunak kataka. Right? I hope you understood it. Uh, so, we we'll move to the other part, the other skill. Right? The other skill is goal keeping. Other skill is Ball keeping, right? So I will explain a little about ball keeping and the necessary facts which we need to know uh, about ball keeping, right? So basically, ball keeping means preventing the ball from entering into the goal post, their own goal post, right? Which means this is the volleyball court. Now you already know there are two goal posts in either side and the best thing in a goal post they got right <clears throat> now this side belongs to team A and this side belongs to team B will see for an example we say like that right now this goal post belongs to team A this goal post belongs to team B so the goalkeeper of team A Goalkeeper of team A should stand in front of their own stand in front of their own goal post, right? 
and the goalkeeper of team B should stand in front of their own goal post, right? Amangi adal metu tamangi goal post ke me dinna goal post ke saraha hinda ke niinda so hinda ke niinda awashya ke niinda great game, right? And their job is what is their job? Their job is to prevent the ball entering into their on goal post. In goal post, the catheter to goal entering a catheter will be done. While up again, the tamai yagi job be given, right? That job be given. In goal post, the catheter to handu yani ka while up pa karne ka, right? So we don't know where this ball coming from or to what direction or it, it was speed. We don't know. Mona begging in another one, that's the in another wing in another at what level we don't know. We have no idea, right? It suddenly happens. Okay, Shanikova, when the ball in it, right? So we should be ready as a goalkeeper, we should be ready. Hmm, after one of the Tabadan in him, no day, uh, Pandua, get a goalkeeper in it with the head, and he should be able to move his body here and there. He should be able to jump up, he should be able to dive, dive can find my hand. Right, uh, we should be able to dive and jump up and move his body here and there uh, to both sides, right? With sudden change of movements, right? With sudden change of movements, he should be able to move again. If you want to shani kava, you have to be able to pella or pella. So, man, ke pandu raga ganda meka ki ke hakiya ba in the one. So, we can maintain such a position. Or posture, hmm? uh, such a posture, right? Uh, we can keep our legs with the uh, like shoulder width apart. Uh, right? We can bend our knees a little. We can bend the knees. We can lower our body. We can lower our body a little. We can lower our body a little. And we should stand on the ball of the foot. Ball of the foot means without the heel touching the ground. You can stand with, without the heel touching the ground like this. You can't do it. 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 On the ball of the foot. You should stand on the ball of the foot. Right? So, so it will be very easy for us to move our body here and there to the both sides. Right? And to the front as well. Front and backwards as well. Right? Our ball of the foot, nothing. Our little bit, yeah, nothing. It's like after shining cover. Suddenly, we can, uh, yeah, able to change the direction of our movements, right? Up here, up till the little bit, yeah, nothing. 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 If we lower our body a little, it will balance, it will improve the balance of our body. So such a uh, posture <coughs> is suited for a goalkeeper, right? And uh, what is uh, goalkeeper is allowed to touch the ball with their hands, right? Uh, in a uh, uh, now that's a very important point in football now, right? No player can touch the ball with their hand. We can, in order to uh, handle the ball, we could use any part of our body. Head, abdomen, chest, our back, our legs. We could use any part, but not our hands. Starting from the shoulder, this part. These two parts cannot be used to go handle the ball in football for players. But in throwing, when you are doing a throwing, Right? That, that's one scenario which we can uh, touch the ball with our hands. I'm not taking ball in a throwing, throwing. Right? You know, pull it up. Throwing The only other player who is allowed to touch the ball with hands is the goalkeeper. Both the goalkeepers, right? They can use any part, right? Not just legs or hands, they can use any part of their body to handle the ball, right? They can hold the ball as well. 
So earlier we discussed about uh, throwing the ball in ground level. You can be with again, make up in my ground level. And again, we can do it with our chest level, right? With our chest level, like this, with our chest level, and uh, over the head as well, right? Over the head as well, we can do this both activities in the same way. We take a man up to the ground, we will take a chest level, we will take a server to the ground, we will take a man up to the ground, we will take a man up to the ground, we will take a man up to the ground. Right, uh, so those are the basic activities which we can only do. Practice this goalkeeping skills, right? So, very simple uh, lesson. I hope you understood it well. And uh, there are some photographs in uh, your reading books, right? In your reading book, there are some photographs. You can refer those and you can get more idea about that. I hope you understood it well. Uh, so, this is the end of the seventh lesson. Right, this is the end of the seventh lesson, and uh, I will do another video for the eighth lesson as well. So we'll meet from the eighth lesson in the next video. Right? Okay. Goodbye, everyone. Take care.